So I discovered this chemical in the brain that essentially makes people good. I'm Paul Zak. I'm a professor at Claremont Graduate University in Southern California, and I'm a neuroeconomist and the oxytocin doctor. This little syringe contains the moral molecule. <laughs> it's called oxytocin. So oxytocin is a simple and ancient molecule found only in mammals. In rodents, it was known to make mothers care for their offspring, and in some creatures, allowed for toleration of burrow mates. But in humans, it was only known to facilitate birth and breastfeeding in women, and is released by both sexes during sex. So I had this idea that oxytocin, which bonds mothers to offspring, might make us care about complete strangers. And so, over a series of about 10 years, I've run a lot of experiments showing, indeed, that oxytocin does make us care about complete strangers. And that's actually interesting, because I think it's that uh, trust in others, it's that caring, that connection, that really makes much of the world go round without governments watching us, without uh, you know, punitive laws for every little thing you do wrong. We're essentially connecting to each other, and that motivates us to behave in good ways. So we have two kind of really interesting findings. One is that when your brain is flooded with oxytocin, people experience empathy. That is, they share the emotions of others so it seems to me that it's empathy that makes us care for others. It's empathy that makes us want to help others and actually behave in moral ways. But the second is, this is an old conjecture from Aristotle, that those who have the most oxytocin release, who are the most empathic, have better relationships of all types and are in fact happier. So virtue makes us happy through the working of oxytocin. I think that's big news because I think many of the great books in literature, in philosophy, in religion, have claimed that we should be good because it's good for us. But now we see that this chemical that reduces stress, connects us to other people, literally makes us happier. And so if we want to live a happier life, the answer is it's in relationships.